Hey guys, it's Sally. I know it's been a while since we last uploaded anything, but as you know, we've been in lockdown, so we haven't really needed to vlog anything because we're not doing anything. During this time, I've really gotten back into reading and drawing, and I thought a great way to combine those two interests would be to film book reviews, but also make art inspired by the book at the same time. So that's what we're doing here. I'm just sketching out some thumbnails for a potential design or something. Um, at this point I was thinking of doing a book cover. This is kind of going to be a review on everything that Philip Pullman has written so far in his, his Dark Materials world, but mostly focused on his latest book, The Secret Commonwealth. So I recently read the His Dark Materials trilogy because I started watching the show on the plane ride home from Montreal, which uh, like really feels like a long time ago but it got me thinking about how I'd been recommended this book series for years and years and I just never got around to reading it so I started reading it and if you've never read the books or heard of them they're a YA trilogy set in this fantasy world but that's actually the real world but it's like fantasy where people have these things called demons Daemons, demons, I'm not sure how you pronounce it because in the show they pronounce it daemons but I think officially it's demons but they're basically animal forms of your soul slash spirit that exist in the real world and they can interact with each other and people and stuff and they can be any animals and they speak and they're kind of like really intelligent pets in a way and to sum up the story real quick it's about an 11 year old girl named Lyra who ends up being entrusted with this device called an alethiometer, which is very rare and difficult to use, but people want it because it tells you the truth about anything you ask it. And she finds out that these kids all over the city have been kidnapped, including one of her friends, and she goes off to figure out what, what's going on and ends up on this crazy adventure and she has to use the alethiometer to get out of all these situations and stuff. And that's pretty much the story summed up real quick. And on a completely random tangent, I love the name Lyra, and if Keith lets me, I would have named our future daughter that. But Ed Sheeran also had the same idea, and now if I do that, everyone's just going to assume I copied Ed Sheeran. But I didn't. I had the idea as well. Okay, back to the book. So I read the entire trilogy, like binge read it so quickly, and then I started on his second trilogy that's set in the same world with a lot of the same characters and it's kind of like a sequel but not really like kind of so to clarify the first trilogy that philip pullman wrote is called his dark materials and that's made up of the northern lights the subtle knife and the amber spyglass and then there are three short stories called lyra's oxford once upon a time in the north and the collectors and then the second trilogy is called The Book of Dust. And the first book in that is La Belle Sauvage. And the second book is The Secret Commonwealth. Which is what this book cover design is meant to be on, right? And that's the latest book. The third book hasn't been published yet, but when it does, I'm going to be one of the first people to read it because I'm dying to know what happens. The little creature you see me sketching here is meant to be Pan, who is Lyra's daemon. Demon? Yeah, demon. <laughs> and his animal form is a pine marten, which evidently I cannot draw that well, but that's what he's meant to be. Now I'll try and keep this review as spoiler free as possible, including any spoilers for his dark materials. So as we've established, I loved his dark materials like 10 out of 10, no faults, loved it, would highly recommend. It's a super easy read, but it has like depth to it and it's just great. I loved it. So the creature is Pan, and then the ghost that you see, they are to do with what the secret commonwealth actually is. And in my thumbnails, I was playing around with other things that are also part of the secret commonwealth, but ultimately decided that the ghost would suit the book cover aspect the best, because they're like wispy and have curves and, you know, they just kind of suit the form of a book cover better than some of the other ideas I had. By the way, I'm doing the colouring aspect of the drawing in Procreate on my iPad, which I'm not super great at, like digital painting and stuff. It's not my <laughs> forte, if you will. But that's kind of all I have on me at the moment. It's a long story. But I was just trying this out in Procreate, and Procreate has this cool feature where it automatically records everything you draw. So 
thought that would be handy. So unfortunately, I have to say the Book of Dust trilogy is just not holding up as strongly as his Dark Materials. I really enjoyed La Belle Sauvage and the two main characters in that are Malcolm and Alice and I just adore them. Like I love them, I love their relationship with each other and how they grew as characters and I, I think they're great. And after I finished that book, I was super eager to read The Secret Commonwealth and that's set about seven or eight years after the events of the original trilogy. So in it, Lyra's like 20 now and she's studying how to read the alethiometer and she's become really interested in philosophy and these famous philosophers and they discuss a lot of things but mostly about the relationship between humans and their demons and how demons are actually fake and are just a delusion of humans which obviously causes a lot of strain between her and her demon and without spoiling anything basically they start to really hate each other and it all accumulates into this big argument and then the rest of the book is about that and their adventures and their relationship with each other. And I can't really say anything too much without spoiling anything, but that's mostly all you need to know. And there's also something about rose oil in the Middle East, but it's like a really random plotline which I just don't understand why Lyra is involved. Like, I'm confused. But my biggest disappointment with the book is probably Lyra's character, because I really loved her in the original trilogy. And I just felt like Philip Pullman's reasoning for the like her hatred, her and Pan's hatred for each other, and the entire entire storyline is kind of vague and weird and kind of weak. I must like I mean I'm not a writer, and maybe it's just me not understanding things, but I don't know. I didn't like that aspect of it, and the conflict in the story and like the bad guys and everything felt very unbelievable and. Like, why is Lara even involved in all this drama? Like, she doesn't need to be involved. I never understood that. Maybe I missed something, but I just don't understand why she's even there. And what I loved about His Dark Materials were the characters and their relationships. But so far in the Book of Dust trilogy, the first two books, they only really focus on two or three characters and like a handful of side characters thrown in. Whereas His Dark Materials was kind of like an ensemble where... Each character was better written and far more interesting and even the side characters were interesting but the side characters in The Secret Commonwealth are kind of like really meh. Like the main characters are brilliant and I love them and everything but the side characters are super boring and that all just makes the world feel less interesting and not as built. Like in His Dark Materials world is it's fake like it's a made up world but I got very lost in the story and in, in that, the world, the names and geography of places all coincide with the real world. But it doesn't feel like that. It feels like they're, they're made up. And, like, the Secret Commonwealth is obviously set in the same world. But it doesn't feel as, like, you, you can't get lost in it like you did in His Dark Materials. Like, it just doesn't have that same magic to it. But my biggest gripe with the Secret Commonwealth is the fact that it focuses on way too many issues... It's like Philip Pullman is trying to focus on every major issue in the world right now. Like, is a book about religion, slave trade, terrorism, refugees, sexism, women, relationships. Like, is it even a fantasy book at this point? <laughs> like, it focuses on way too many things and the story feels weak because of it. Like, we'll be talking about one issue for two or three chapters and then it jumps to the next thing. And then, you know, Lyra's on her little adventure and then it jumps to this other issue she has to deal with. Like, it just moves from issue to issue and I didn't like that. Overall though, I mean, I did enjoy the book. I'd rate it a 4 out of 5, despite all my <laughs> complaints. Because it is an enjoyable book. Like, it's a good read. And I finished it and I was like, satisfied, I guess? Like, there aren't any major issues. There's just a lot of minor things that annoyed me and I didn't like and that overall brought the book down. But if you enjoyed the original trilogy, I'd still recommend reading it. You just may leave feeling like you kind of hate Lyra, which is really disappointing because I loved her. Anyways, that's it for this review slash speed paint. I know I didn't talk about the design of the, the book cover that much, but honestly it's not my favourite thing that I've ever done. I just kind of wanted to experiment with this new style of video, I guess. No, I liked it. I might do it again in the future. Anyways, 
Um, thanks for watching and listening to my rambling. And I will awkwardly sign off here. <laughs>